The number of described fungal species is usually something on the order of 70 or 80,000. The estimated numbers of fungal species are many times that number. About a million and a half fungi might be out there. One of the things that we're doing in my lab is looking at what sorts of enzymes fungi had when they first invaded land and how the enzymes produced by those fungi enabled them to interact with the other organisms that would have coexisted at the same time. Our goal is to get a, a complete tree of life for, for the fungi. What we're contributing to is building a, a satisfying and robust story about how the world came to be the place that we, that we know and love. When it comes to studying the fungi directly, I would love to get to the point where we can identify, say, half of them in a way that's halfway reasonable. The sheer diversity of fungi makes the functions of individual fungi difficult to assess. I'm not sure what would really happen if all the fungi suddenly went extinct. And I think the consequences would be um, very ill health on the parts of our trees. One of the things that my students and I particularly enjoy is going on mushroom walks with our classes and also with members of the public. It's just fun to see people's reaction to this diversity of mushrooms that they hadn't guessed existed. It is a true joy to go to a spot where you don't see anything one week and then the next week find three or four different kinds of fungi that are just absolutely lovely to look at. And sometimes they have amazing smells and textures and everything else. And it's just, it's just plain lovely to see the way they pop up. You see no trace and then all of a sudden they're there. <laughs>